today we are in Gdynia in this nice posh upscale neighborhood right on the seaside to uh, look at some murals. Hey guys! Human face orange Orange. This one is the first one we saw. Tell us about the symbolism of all of all this beautiful artwork. I'm not an art expert, but uh, I'm I, not. I, I I'm think not I, I think it looks really cool. Simple, but, but cool. I think all this art like this is very fitting in an environment like this with all these communist building, sort of low fidelity life, very low detail, and uh, not much, you know, artistic expression in them so it's a you know like a contrast of the two worlds so more than anywhere they they probably fit here in in this town and there is you know there's lots of different types of these there is the i was high on acid type and then there's also the you know historic uh, graffiti or uh, murals that try to have some message so whatever floats your boat this here is obviously not a mural, it's a graffiti. But one interesting thing that I think I find a lot of people don't know this, graffiti isn't just random drawings that people do. This is actually a, a specific drawing that a, a person has, which is called a tag. A tag. And every uh, graffiti artist uh, uh, has their own tag and they put their tags all over the city, but they're always the same. They always have the same, the same shape. And the idea is really to kind of mark your territory and then you, you know, you put your tag in as many places as you possibly can and uh, which is kind of like a symbol that, that is meant to show that you're opposing to the, the, the rules and the system and whatnot. This one is from the series, let's just draw something random and then let's let people figure out or wonder what that was supposed to mean. And it probably wasn't supposed to mean anything. This one is probably my favorite with the golf club going across three surfaces. It takes some skill to do that. I mean, Gdynia is a, a really fascinating, uh, fascinating, fascinating landscape because here you have kind of like old communist, very, you know, just sketchy looking, sketchy looking place. And then you turn around, and then right here we have the sky tower, which is kind of the the peak of luxury in Poland right now. So that's the murals in Gdynia. And being here and telling you guys, showing you guys all this stuff, I want to relate a bit of a story. So there is a guy named David Cho, um, who is a bit of a vulgar guy, but nonetheless a, a really fascinating dude. He was a young kid with a dream to make it big into into the the world of art. Always loved graffiti, and he would go go around and just draw wherever he could, however he could. And that was his dream, his passion to make, you know, to make a living doing that. And obviously there's no set career, career path for becoming a graffiti artist, but he would get, you know, a job here, another one there. And one of the gigs he, he got in his early days was the proposal to paint the offices of early Facebook, Facebook in its early days. And obviously as any young company Facebook didn't have money to pay him but they wanted beautiful a beautiful office so they offered to pay him in stock options he got stock options and then a bunch of years later Facebook goes public and then the stock that he owns is now worth something like 400 million dollars and so the guy got to follow his passion uh, he took the stock he's incredibly wealthy and um, you know what would his life look like had he gone another route and 
and thought that maybe you can you can make it uh, in art. So you never know, but you just have to kind of do everything you can and hope it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. For a lot of people, it doesn't. But for some people, it does, and that's that's just life. But um, you know, it adds it adds to everyone's life. Beautiful art like this adds to everyone's life, and uh, it's just beautiful. Makes everything better.